Casting lures has to be one of my favourite types of fishing, so when the opportunity arose to head out to Holland in search of monster perch, I just had to make it happen. I've had a long-standing personal best perch of around the £3, 1.4 kilo mark, and this was my chance to beat it. So on the 15th of March, I drove into Europe on a quest for a giant perch. One hour, 28 minutes to get to Oxen, which is where I'm gonna catch a crossing into France. Let's go. I've just arrived at the Euro Tunnel, which is gonna take me over to France in about an hour. And then I've got, I think, three or four hours driving once I'm in France, through Belgium and into the Netherlands. Cheers, mum, for the sandwiches. Train. So that is a journey ahead of us once we get into France. Three and a half to four hours from Calais to Netherlands. I'm high. For your safety and comfort, we recommend that you stay with your vehicle. Thank you for your attention. Ah, we just crossed the Belgian border. Two hours, eight minutes left. I've entered the Netherlands and now we're on the small road, so we're getting closer. 15 minutes to go. That was one of the smoothest journeys I've ever had. No traffic, no problems, just straight here. In probably about five, six hours total. So that's pretty good. How are you, man? Hello. Finally. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Jerome, yeah? Yeah, Jerome. Just met Jerome. He's got a pretty nice boat. Way bigger than I thought it was. But that is what we're going to be fishing out of for the next few days. Just a friendly kid. Hello. My name is Jeroen Eisens. I'm a fishing guide in Holland and uh, I fish mainly for, in the summertime I fish for sea bass and in the wintertime I fish for perch, sander and pike. I really get a good feeling when someone catches a big perch in my boat. That's why I do it. Boat is in storage for the night. Just in time because the rain's coming down now. Just in time, man. Eh? Yeah, just in time. Perfect. See you tomorrow. We just got into the hotel. I'm currently getting some camera kit ready. Jerome has got all his fishing kit ready. The boat is away, ready for tomorrow morning. I think we're gonna skip breakfast tomorrow. We're gonna wake up super early and get out on the water. Well, Holland is pretty unique because you can catch perch over seven pounds and I believe there are perch above eight pounds around. I don't think there's a place in Europe you can catch perch like that. It can be really tough to perch fishing, you can cast all day and don't have a bite, but just one perch can make your whole day or your whole year. And that was the exact reason I'd come out to Holland. The alarms went off early the next morning, but getting out of bed was no problem, as Jerome and I were both so excited to get on the water. Oh, nice weather. Well, the first day we were fishing a big river lake. It's a very big lake uh, with super clear water. Last time I went there with Luke. At the end of the day, we caught six big perch. One of, it, one of the 
perch. The biggest perch was just over five pounds. On that river lake, it's uh, very good to fish with the Carolina rig. You can catch them with jig heads, but the Carolina rig is uh, the best technique to catch them. Ah, yes. We have got to the water, the first lake that I'm going to be fishing here in the Netherlands. It's a place where Jerome has been before, I think once, and caught some very big fish. That doesn't mean we're going to catch some big fish today, but we can try our best. That's exactly what we're going to do. Try and catch a monster perch. I am so hyped for this. Incredibly hyped. Super. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, we got a fish on, we got a fish on. Oh, nice, man. Sandy. Oh, what? It's a pot. No, it's a pot. It's a pot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was a monster pot. Oh, man. Bro, it is a fish, right? The bite was exactly like a perch. So we thought, I thought it was a big perch, but it's a nice bike. Oh, we let him go. A bite is a bite, right? Exactly. Bye. Nice. Oh boy, we have been searching hard for the last few hours and we haven't seen a single bait for sharp on the sounder but uh, just coming into another bay gonna look there as well I guess that's all we can do find some bait fish and then fish over it but yeah it's been tricky very tricky today but we are after just one massive fish The next six hours of fishing was extremely slow, and although Jerome did hook up and land a couple of smaller fish, the big perch managed to avoid us. First perch! First perch, man. I tried to find them, but because the water was too high, the, the perch were spreading out, or I don't know where they were. We caught two, we caught a pike, so we caught a few fish, but the, the circumstances were so hard. That's it folks, day one. It was tricky, very tricky. Uh, Jerome says it was very different circumstances to when he came here in January. The water is a lot higher. And although we did find a couple of perch, it wasn't on fire. But uh, we've still got tomorrow. We've still got tomorrow to fish. Oh well, I'll see you tomorrow guys. Hopefully with a slightly better day's fishing. We had two days left, so on to the next one and try to catch that really big one. On day two we're going to fish with Luke Coppens. Uh, Luke became a really good friend of mine for the last uh, year. And uh, we're going to fish at the Haring Fleet. The Haring Fleet is a big river system with uh, the, the biggest perch in, uh, in Holland. Hi Alex, uh, today we are in Holland on a big lake and uh, today we are going to try it's a personal best perch for you. As we drove out the harbour, we were greeted with incredible views. The vibes on the boat were positive and we had the whole day ahead of us searching for huge perch. Sweet. Right, first spot. First spot.
There's definitely more structure around here. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling it on the... Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a pike! It's a pike! No! The heart was racing. That one you can take with your hand. Yeah. <laughs> no! First fish from the Netherlands. I thought it was a monster perch when I hooked into it, but popped up and it was a little pike. Oh well, it is my first fish from a new country that I've never fished before. Nice! Nice. See ya. Birch, big no, birch, big birch, big it's birch. a big perch. Yeah, nice giant perch. Yeah! Oh, he's <laughs> oh, a monster! <laughs> big perch, big perch, hey! Super, super, Luke. I, I, I was afraid to say it's a perch because uh, I, was, I was not sure, but. That I can already say is the biggest perch I've ever seen in my life. Oh my goodness! It is a giant! <laughs> it's a giant! Oh my god! That's a giant. That is a giant perch. You like it? Yeah. Super oh. fish, yeah? How much would you say that weighs? This will be a little bit more than two kilo, but we can weigh it if you want. Yeah. yeah okay. I think it's a two kilo one. Oh yeah. my so God. Put it in the net. Yeah. You just put it in with his head first. I know, guys, it's not sexy, but uh, we normally don't uh, weigh it. Just. Under five pounds. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Super Yay! I'm not gonna stop casting until until I catch one. Oh my! For an English guy, that is a monster. <laughs> That'll be on the front cover of every newspaper in England. <laughs> wow! Nice one, Luke. Let's keep casting. Oh, yep, yep. Oh. What? Are you kidding? It was a bream. It was a bream. <laughs> what? Yep. This is under. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Super. Was it, was it a good bite? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Good bite. You like the bite? Yeah, very good. Was it good. a boom? It was a boom. Fish on, fish on, fish on. This is a birch, then we have a very big one. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god! I am just blown away again! Oh dear! What have you got there, Luke? I have a, a monster perch. And uh, I didn't expect one like this today, but this one is 51 centimeter. And believe me, this is, uh, if I have to estimate 2.7, 2.8 kilo, we, uh, we will put it in a, a way back. But it's a very nice fish. Did you see how strong it was? <laughs> it's like it's like a carp. The fight so hard and the bite was so hard, you cannot believe it. I'm, I'm still excited because this is for me also a big fish. Like this, you, you only catch a few in a year, 51. Super nice fish. Very, very happy with it. This is oh, this man. three kilo, two hundred man. It's my biggest it's seven. <gasps> How many pounds? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. It is a seven pound. Oh, it's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> a seven three pound perch. My Super. biggest, biggest perch ever for me. Really? My biggest, my heaviest perch ever. Together with you guys, very, very nice moment. Super. 
you won't you, you don't catch a lot like this believe me but you can come closer here let it go we let it go here we go 3.2 kilo swims away thank you After Luke's massive perch, the bite slowed and the following four hours were spent searching and hoping for another chance. If you want to catch a big perch and it's a dream fish, you just have to know uh, it isn't easy and you have to really have to work for it, but the, uh, it's really worth the effort because when you get that bite at the hours of casting, it's just such a rewarding feeling. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. See? Oh, oh no! Yep. Yeah. Oh, again. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Give it, give it net, give oh, 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 This is why I came to the Netherlands for perch of monstrous sizes. A four pounder. And caught on a lure, the most exciting way of fishing. Thank you. You're welcome, man. That's why I invited you to Holland to catch your dream perch. And uh, you worked, really worked for it, so. Uh, you're welcome, and Luke, of course. He worked hard, he was focused all the time, so you deserve it. So that's why it will happen again. I didn't pay these guys to say that. So <laughs> I was just lucky. I just made a cast somewhere over there and it just perched it in my bait. <laughs> well, today we were fishing with uh, jig heads. So it's really important to use a jig head that fits the depth because when the jig is swimming down, you can get the strike. So it's important to fish the jig that swims as long as possible to the bottom, because then you got the strike. So you just have to fish so as realistic as possible to trick the perch. And there we go, that's the lure which did the trick. What is this called? Uh, Shadtees. Shadtees. Nine centimeters long on a seven and a half gram jig head. Cheers, thank you. These things are the one, the best boat snacks in the world. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of structure here, and uh, these spots I have found uh, when the water was very clear in the, in the closed season. They like to be here now in this time of year, but I still think there are a few more. We uh, this spot we give it about 30 minutes uh, rest. And now I think we can catch uh, again one or two. Oh yeah. Yes. Bye bye. Cool. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Another personal best, we just weighed it and it was a little under five pounds. <laughs> Beautiful. What, what else day. is there more to say? What a day. Oh. <laughs> and another bite, drones in again. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> what a balloon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is big. This is big, crazy. This is big, crazy, Look at this. crazy. What a Look fish! This. <laughs> well, it is my birthday, and I wanted to Alex to catch a big perch, and uh, he he caught uh, a few, and uh, at the end of the day, this is my birthday perch. It's uh, just under six pounds and uh, 49 centimeters. I'm very happy with it. And he's off. Good. This day just keeps on getting better and better. Now it may look like we've been catching some pretty big perch today, but what you might not see is just the amount of cast that we've been doing to get those perch. We've had many hours of not catching anything, 
but every now and then we find the spot where there's a group of perch and we get into some and when you do catch one here although it's not often they just seem to be monsters can't quite believe it but this is the best perch fishing i've ever experienced thanks to these two jerome and luke you're welcome hey guys. my guides Cheers. here in the netherlands <laughs> yes wow and we go again can this day get any better it just can't <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just reeled in and I didn't realize I had one on. Oh, I'll be good. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah. And it's another monster. He's off the hook now, but I have it. When I thought the day just couldn't get any better. I had another bite and it's this, which is definitely Another personal best. <laughs> <laughs> These perch are just ridiculously big. I will never forget this day's fishing. Wow. Never forget it. I think it's over five. It should be. So it's just on five, a tiny bit over maybe. Yeah. Yeah, five pound, four ounces or so. Five pound, four ounces. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what? A few ounces over five pounds. Five pounds. What? This was quite big. See ya. <laughs> crazy, crazy day. <laughs> what? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Alex. <laughs> and that is the end of possibly one of my best days fishing I've ever had. Time to get some rest because we've still got one more day with these guys fishing. What a day, what a day. Well, I must say this is one, also one of my, my best uh, days ever perch fishing. We caught like 10, 11 perch, uh, a few fish uh, above five pounds, a six pounder, a seven pounder. You caught your personal best sander, so the perfect day. See you later guys. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I'm knackered. <laughs> I had one more day fishing with Jerome and Luke, but after such an incredible session, I found it hard to believe the fishing could get any better. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very. Yeah, it's, made my day. it's quite far out. <laughs> hey! Oh, nice. oh, day three and it's still happening. There we go. Look at that. Day three. We're about an hour in. Maybe not even that. We've got our first perch of the day. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish on. Oh, it's a pike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great pike. Nice pike. Good man. Good man. Super, super. Look at that pike. We've had less perch action today and quite a few small pike. But I've just had this absolute beauty. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a great one. Well Good job, man. <laughs> that was a nice fight, that one. Oh, yes. 
Not a really big one, but it's a nice one. So. Very nice fish. Yeah. It was nearing the end of the day, but Luke had one more spot in mind to take us to. We're gonna give it a few casts and I've got one last perch to finish an incredible three days fishing. It's just not to go this one. What a fish. What a, this is what your biggest one. A perch. Look at that belly. <laughs> We've ended the day on well I'm pretty sure this is my biggest perch on this trip so far. Look at that belly. It is 47 centimeters. See ya, have a safe drive. What an amazing three days that was. I still can't believe it. I'm still left speechless by the size of some of those perch we caught. We caught nice perch, we caught nice pike, we caught nice Xander. I couldn't ask for any more. But I've really got to thank Luke and Jerome for their help. I honestly could not have done it without them. Jerome actually has his own guiding service over here. So if you're interested in coming over to do some fishing, I'll leave the links to that in the description. But they were both great guides and they guided me to my personal best perch, which is why I came here in the first place. Anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. I really hope you've enjoyed. I'm actually gonna be in the Netherlands for the next four days. So who knows what could happen. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one coming soon.